It kind of feels like organized chaos around here. Let's meet another one of our engineers. I think our youngest engineer here. This is Brian Duran, everybody. Brian, how did you get here? I applied for an internship position for our merchandise, but whenever I could, I would sneak in and work some of the other Tazbot and stuff like that. And then eventually kind of work, work my way up and started working on other robots. You're working on Chopper right now. Yes. This robot was built specifically for Destructathon, never seen on TV. And what makes it different from some of the other bots then? Uh, it's very rugged. Um, it's probably the most versatile bot that we have here. This one has the most combinations to fight other robots. Um, it's great for vertical spinners, great for horizontal spinners as well. Besides the big wedge in the front, it's just pretty encapsulated and then has a pretty good weapon for like overhead attacks that most of the robots here don't really defend against. It looks like we've got a really beat up chopper here. What do you have to do to get this back into fighting shape? A lot of the challenges is what can I repair and what should I completely just replace? So one of the things, right, that's really difficult to replace are these side armor panels. Um, these are completely welded on, AR500, requires a lot of time. So I would probably just run this again, but for like the pipings that's missing, I would probably just weld in new pipes, probably cut these out, put new ones on. Um, in terms of like mechanical stuff, if we look at our weapon here, it's kind of out of alignment, but it's good enough for the show. But as for everything else, our wheels here, for example, are pretty torn up. On our other side, um, we have a bench. There's not even a wheel there, Brian. <laughs> Brian, there's not a wheel there. I'm currently rebuilding this one because it's completely out of alignment. Our wheel will just oscillate back and forth. So it's not very good for the show. Let me, I, just let me point, I think, Somebody dropped a wrench in there. <laughs> See? See? You gotta be aware of these things, Brian. I don't wanna be the guy to show you, but there was a wrench in there. Thank you, Phil. All right, all right. <laughs>